Here's an old memory game I wrote that I want to improve the code of with a little bit of refactoring. Let me play it for you. Hmm, seven? Four, fifteen, one, eleven, fourteen. Um, fourteen? Ooh, mm, don't know. Notice it gets easier when you make a mistake. And I completely missed that. Ooh, lucky. Five. Okay, you get the idea. There's some duplication here. We create a set, we add things to it, turn it into a list, and shuffle it. Create a set, add things to it turn into a list and shuffle it. So I want to extract this into a method. And I'm going to call it create sequence. Here it is. We just need to make some little changes. We're not going to use globals. We're going to return from here. And we'll update the return type. And I think we can say this is a sequence event. Sequence comes from typing. Okay. Um, and now we have to do this. Right. So we modified the, the function that idea created for us so that it returns a value. And here we're capturing that return value. Let's keep going with this refactoring. I want to reuse this for both the first sequence and the second sequence. And the second sequence code is a little bit more complicated. Let's do some um, renaming here. So it's a set so we can avoid duplicates. So I'm going to call this unique numbers. And then we have to turn it into a list so we can shuffle it. And I was reusing that same name, but I don't want to do that. So I'm going to rename this to unique numbers list. All right, so I'm feeling a little better about this. Now, number of both sequences, um, that's only added for the second sequence, not the first. So I think we're going to need to add some parameters to this function. And I think we're going to need to have um, a way to include a number in the set. So we'll create a variable called include. And this is going to be optional int. Optional comes from typing. Okay. And um, since it's optional, that means it may not be supplied. Oh, let's give it um, a default value of none. Okay, and now we need to do something like um, we're going to create a set from the from include, which is a, an int if it's not none, but only if include is not none. Otherwise, we're going to create an empty set. I'll delete this line. Okay, are we, are we clear on this? We are um, examining the value of include. And if it's none, this will be false. So we'll have this set assigned to this variable. Uh, if include is there, then we'll make a set from that number and then assign that to unique numbers. Okay, so that takes care of that. Now we got to deal with this because first sequence, this is only done for the second sequence. 
So I think we need to add another parameter for things that we want to exclude. See, it says if candidate not in that. So this is this is numbers we want to exclude. Exclude. And this is going to be an optional sequence event with the default value of none. And I think uh, since this is getting long, I'm going to do this. And now here we can say if candidate not in. Hmm. Okay. So what if it's none? We we need we need to make a set out of this exclude thing. So let's do um, excluding gets. Um, a set that comes from exclude, but only if exclude. Otherwise, there's going to be an empty set. And now we'll use excluding in here. All right. Um, I think that might be ready to go, um, but it's not going to work until we do this first. So we're going to call create sequence, but we need to give it first. Uh, we want to say include the number in both sequences and exclude first sequence. So that makes sure that the second sequence includes the one number was chosen from the first sequence, but it doesn't include any of the other numbers from the first sequence. All right, I'll run this. If it seems to work, we'll run in the debugger and we'll step through the function we created. Okay, 2115, so that's 20. 15, yeah, seems to be working. All right, we want to step through, just make sure we understand this here. So I'll just put a breakpoint at the beginning of it and we'll run. Okay, so the prompt came out, remember these numbers. Now we're calling this uh, from here to create the sequence. All right, well, include does have a value, so unique numbers is going to get uh, set to a set with 18. So unique numbers is a set with 18. Now what are we doing with the excluding business? Well exclude is an optional sequence event. So it's either none or a sequence event. And we've been given a list event. So this is going to be true. That means we're going to make a set from this list of numbers. And that's what we have. Excluding is a set from this list of numbers. Now we can go through and create our set of unique numbers. So here's a candidate number. We want to make sure that 11 is not in one of these numbers from the first set. And it is not, so we add it. We go through, and we have 19. Now that can go in. And we're done. Now we're going to make a list out of the unique numbers here so that we can shuffle it. Now they've been shuffled, and now we return unique numbers list. All right, so that's our little step through in the debugger. Now I want to reuse create sequence for the first sequence, and hopefully it'll be as just as simple as this. We'll see. Well, it does seem to work. One, three, eleven, eight, eight. Okay. Um, there's some other changes I want to make too, and I've, I've done them already. So I'm just going to replace the contents of this with uh, my work from before. So this is what we did together. 
Uh, this has changed. I just moved these down to follow the functions. And I, um, so this, is, this used to look like this, two calls to print. I just combined them into one. Um, what did I do here? This used to look like a print, a print, and an input. And now it's combined. It's just a single input. And I'm going to commit these changes. So let's do control V and commit a file. And I'm going to say improve memory game code. Commit. And we'll push. And there we go. See you next time.